Okay, you join me tonight at another one of the UK's most haunted forests. This is Epping Forest. To try and get as much evidence and activity as possible, we set out under a harvest full moon. Set up our tents and spend a full night in the forest. Try not to leave no matter what. But things start getting a little bit weird. The fog is rolling in. Yeah. This forest has had its fair share of deaths. In fact, 38 people were pulled out of the pond over the years. It's got urban legends such as the Headless Horseman. There's plenty of poltergeist activity reported in these woods also. So this is going to be a night to remember. It's raining, it's pouring The old man is snoring He went to bed into today's video i want to say we have the brand new collaboration hoodie out right now the nara extinct so if you didn't already know what nara extinct was it is josh's nara yeah like nara stands for like this old abandoned theme park I used to go to is my favorite abandoned theme park on earth or my favorite abandoned place ever so i made something out of that and then he got his extinct, which Nara is now gone. So it kind of goes with his collab and his idea. Well, it was the way that the triangle, like the triangle skull hands matched your triangle. Yeah. And it just, the, the two collaborations, it uh, just went together so well. So we got Nara extinct. The first one we ever did was the white and black and the it black was the and yellow. Pink. I think I did pink and green too. Yeah, well that's ones you've got in stock right now. Oh yeah, yeah. You've got some in stock now. I've got the black and orange ones over there in stock. But also, we want to tell you now that there is some more coming out very soon, which is the Christmas edition. So, these are very limited. Only you gotta buy them. You've got to pick them up. You already know. That's a, a brave thing. Why is it so, um, placid? I know it's not. It doesn't care that we're here. That is going to come and see us later. I've got a feeling it's just going to charge us. <laughs> uh, sorry, I can't park here. That's one thing I love about this car. <laughs> Get me anywhere I want to go. Right into the heart, the woodland. Right, <laughs> about by here. Yeah. All this broken stuff here. Okay, you join me tonight at another one of the UK's most haunted forests. This is Epping Forest. Now, this was on my to-do list for quite some time. This was on my to-do list for quite some time. But I've been putting it off. And that's because only recently someone was found dead in here. Um, so far, I'm, I'm going to go into the history afterwards by the fire. You already know how it is. But let's just say that there's a bit of water just just over the other side of us and uh, 38 people have been found dead in that bit of water alone. <sighs> Let's go and set camp.
What? We're being affected already. Why? What's my watch, up? Is, my watch is blown up. It's never done that before. Well, I can tell you this. There's no signal here either. Not a, not an tiniest bit of signal on the phones. I mean, that might work. That might be why, but mine works off satellites, so you shouldn't bother it. But the notification symbol was on when nothing else was working. Is your phone working? Me, you got two phones, are you a drug dealer? I did tell you I've got a work phone. Alright, oh, yeah. Work phone, we all know what that is. I have one. signal. I was about to say one little bar. Oh, you, you do? Oh. That's because she's local. Uh, Us non locals don't get the signal around here. Um, right, well, I think we should uh, have a sit down and talk about the stories quickly and then pull out the paranormal equipment. Let's not mess around on this video, I'll jump straight into it. Yeah. What is up everyone? Okay, so today we are at Epin Forest, like I said, and I'm just going through the history on the hauntings at the moment. And I'm gonna read some out. Flex was um, clever enough to screenshot a bunch. So I didn't even know this. Most haunted has been here before. You see most haunted? Nope. What? I am really. You see most haunted? No. no. That was a genuine no, though. No. Uh, so they have been here before and done an investigation like most places in the UK. Um, famous spots, Hangman's Hill, which is uh, just around the corner from this spot here. Um, also, there's one that we didn't know about that you told us about. What was that? The Headless Horseman. Headless Horseman. And, and a dead body. From what I've read. Do you reckon he's got something to do with the, the Hangman's Hill? Well, it sounds like a thing. So we got a headless horseman to look out for. Um, if you want to test Hangman's Hill, oh wait, so Hangman's Hill also has a road that is very, very much level apparently. And when you park on it, um, the cars seem to move on their own when you put them in neutral. Also, you can follow the route taken by Most Haunted, which we're not going to do. Um, if you want to test, oh, I've read that. I've seen a bit. Okay, apparitions have been known to show themselves also. On one occasion, a man was spotted wearing a tricorn hat and cape and a black horse. Um, at the Wake Arms roundabout, the headless apparition of a biker and a horse-drawn coach has been seen in the dead of night. A troubled spirit is said to run out in front of vehicles star st starring... Stirring in, let's start that bit again. Stirring into driver's eyes before disappearing right before them. Uh, a ghost of a young girl who reportedly drowned near the King Oak pub has been seen, as well as the Headless Horseman. There you go. Um, the haunted history of Epping Forest is notorious. So much so, Most Haunted carried out a live show here in 2003. Uh, which was a year before they did Pendle Hill, I think. Um, there's also the ghost of Dick Turpin here as well. Um, due to its reputation as one of the most haunted forests in England, ghost hunts are regular throughout the year, as well as ghosts of Turpin. There is numerous other sightings and apparitions that have occurred at Epping throughout the years. The ghost of uh, a queen of the British tribe in 60 AD is believed to haunt the forest. Poltergeist activity is also a regular occurrence with people reporting being pushed, touched by unseen hands. So there's a hell of a lot going on here. Not only that, there is a hell of a lot of deaths here throughout the years um, in the body of water just nearby where we're located tonight. There's been 38 bodies taken. 29. 39 bodies taken from that body of water alone, uh, as recent as last year in 2021. Um, not only that, in the 70s, uh, a known paedophile abducted two kids, brought them in here, and strangled them to death. So, this place is steeped in horrid and haunted history, and we're here tonight to find out what really lies in the shadows. Bacon time. Bacon time. It's bacon time. Bacon time as in bacon the meat, not as in like I'm going to bake a cake for you. It's uh, 
not do that anymore. Yeah, sure, how would you done that? Well, I'm going to attempt to. It's going to be difficult. Normally, I'm used to working with hot coals, not damp logs. <laughs> and we're on a budget at the moment because um, my pan broke. So I'm now using mess tins. Bacon, lettuce, cheese. Oh, in case I need it, but I don't think I'm gonna eat this bacon. <laughs> Where's the sauce? Oh, there it is. And uh, peri peri mayo. So we've got, I mean, we don't do this by half, do we? We've never done it. Well, I mean, that's quite a gourmet fucking wrap, I'm just really? saying. That's, just, that's not iceberg lettuce, that's gem lettuce. No, I'll tell you a story. So, the first time we ever went to the Chase is the Swansea Forest. That's uh, pretty crispy, that bro. Oh, oh, oh. oh. Good bye, sir. Sorry, sorry. It's going to be really, but it's going to be. Pass me a wrap quick. I need to salvage this. You want it crispy, don't you? Yeah. Light that thing on fire. This is how we do it, folks. This is how cooking is done. Oh, look at that. Yes. Look, you like your, your bacon crispy. Set it on fire. But always remember to grab the handle. Actually, it looks pretty good though. <laughs> yeah, grab the handle with a wrap. I've got the fork. Right, pass me a, a cheese. Do you want me to cheese? Put a cheese, cheese on it. <laughs> Why waste the wrap? There you go. You got one stuff, you know. You just have to peel it out. Oh. Would you like one? <laughs> are, are you sure? Gluten and dairy, you know what I mean? Oh yeah. It's not like if I breathe it in, I'll die, you know. I'm on the end, I'm groomed. Oh yeah? Oh, it's funny, I need my dog groomed. Bring it down, five hours. Yeah, a bit far away. Yeah, one that I haven't done. There's one thing you haven't done. We haven't flame grilled the wrap, but... <laughs> I don't think it matters when you're eating molten bacon. Is it hot? Hot, it, it's like cinders. No, just, <laughs> just wait until it's cooled down, bro. <laughs> no, I mean... You said you want it crispy. Yeah, it's, it's fine, but it's like... Have you ever... Eating the coals off a barbecue. No, I actually haven't done that yet. Is that a thing? Yeah, it's like that. I don't know. Of course that. Was she recording? Yeah. Can we play it back? No, I'm going to have to borrow that clip off you. Yeah. Right, I wasn't, I wasn't recording, but there was an almighty three claps. No, four claps went bum, 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 bum. What? It's what? No, that, whatever it was, it was inside the woods. You don't think it was, um... oh, I think I know what it might be. What? There might have been a car on the car park. It might have pulled on the car park. And as oh. it's drawn off, it's them things on the floor. That's what I thought yeah. it was, I didn't feel like it was. Because it was four of them, weren't it? Yeah, that's what it might have been. <clears throat>
that's not make you a bit jumpy that. Not knowing what it is. See, I've got a mad, mad imagination. I'm picturing some fucking Bigfoot just under the clapping. <laughs> <laughs> well done, boy. Well done. <laughs> Okay, so um, one of the things we're going to do, we're going to leave camp. Um, the floor is sodden, the fire will be dying out. Uh, I'm going to leave a CCTV camera here, uh, see if anything does come towards camp. Uh, also, I might leave another device as well. I might even put my full spectrum camera here. Might set that up on the tripod and just leave it. So, actually, my CCTV camera is a new one. Uh, but, full spectrum camera, I'll be using this. Um, right, CCTV camera, we're going to put up on a tree somewhere, just in case uh, anything does decide to wander towards camp. And, should I leave my full spectrum? Actually, I might give you my full spectrum. I think I'll give you my full spectrum time, though. Alright, so we've got that keeping watch now over camp if anything does decide to stumble in and take a look. Um, we're going to take the rest of the paranormal equipment and we're going to head down deeper into the woodland. Uh, you probably can tell we've got a road not that far away. It is quite a bit of a distance away, but because it's a dead of night here, there's nothing else around, the sound tends to travel. Uh, and by the way, it's a harvest moon tonight, so um, extra, extra paranormal activity is said to happen on a full moon, especially one as significant as the harvest moon. Are we ready? Yeah. Yeah, let's go then. Blue, pink, red. I told you, don't you know how to use my own phone? iPhone. What you know? iPhone. Mm -hmm. Oh, she's an what? iPhone user. Oh. 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 They're not simple it's not to use. Simple. They're, hard to use. They're the hardest phones I've ever had to use in my life. They're terrible. What do you have? Oh, well, I've got I've got the S22 Ultra. What's that? Samsung. Oh, I've got the Samsung I Fold Samsung was 4. What? You know, look at oh, that. Oh, wow. Look at that. Yeah. Samsung Zing. are easy. Oh, I iPhone can't fold phones. Hmm? Yeah. Can, can iPhone do this? Look, <laughs> GTR, GTR on the front. Brand new, beware of the Kraken. Oh, no, 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 that's not. That is the new Catacombs t-shirt. Uh, Just saying. Oh. Yeah. Can the iPhone do that? No, yeah. it's magic. <laughs> okay, so for today's team, I've got myself, you already know. We've got... Hi. 
Cut. Right, we've got. Flex. Just Flex is, is his name. No channel name, just Flex. Alright, right, cut. Cut. And we've got. Flex tape. Right, okay, right, that's good. And we've got. Sophia. Right, okay, that is the team that we're taking into the woods tonight. You already know. Let's go. Third time lucky. <laughs> I didn't know what you wanted us to do. <laughs> <laughs> right. <clears throat> What do you want to crack out? Right, so the reason why I told us to stop here on this uh, this little bridge is because we are stood directly over a stream that runs through here and this is an ancient stream. So, if we was to uh, think scientifically mm -hmm. and how paranormal guys think, water brings energy, so therefore we should be stored on some kind of portal of energy. Therefore, contact should be made easily. Yes. So, I'm going to pull out the REM pod, I'm going to pull out the Alice box, some um, cat balls, and probably the music box. Yeah. Might even do an EVP here as well. Go for it. I mean, there the, the was a massive... Uh, did you notice as you walked down there? Like, there was a massive pressure difference? Yeah, definitely a difference in uh, temperature as well. Yeah, you can see the moon. Yeah, coming through. That is uh, 2022 harvest moon. So, with the power of the moon, the water, we should uh, easily be able to make contact with something here. Let's go through it. Right, for those who don't know, that is a music box and it has an ultrasonic detector on the front of it, ultrasonic sensor. So any kind of movement that we can't see, that can see. And if you go in front of it, it will go off uh, like so. It's very, very sensitive. There you go. Alright, so let's just put the cat balls down, they work on movement only, uh, anything touches them, even on like a vibration level, they will go off now, it's just set, just like the music box, if anything goes off now, it isn't us. So the Alice box works off similar premises to the Necrophonic app, uh, except this is an actual device, not just an application. So this thing, uh, we've had some great communication through seems to work perfectly let's try that tonight have a good REM pods? Um, not just yet let's, we've got these three devices out let's see if we can get something going off here if there's anything in the woods anyone at all we had to talk to you my name is Dan mean you no harm at all we have some items on the floor that will help us detect you. They will not harm you. They may make a noise or a flash, but that's just so we know that you're there. This box here, if you can go near it, and talk into it, it should be able to produce words that you're saying. Oh. What? Whoa, what's happening here? It's a brand new battery as well. I've never seen it do that before. No. It's normally so reliable as well. Right, I'll introduce myself while you know, I think the battery's gone in it already. My name is Flex. Same reasons. Um, you don't need to harm you one another. But if that is you that has affected one of our devices, if you could affect one of our other devices, one is there, that battery should not have died that quickly. No, not at all. So, so something at either the cut, it could be the cold, the batteries are affected by cold. And it's not even that cold, bro, it's 14 degrees still. It's not been in that long, it would, it would need to be out much longer and the 
Yeah, it's it's 14 cold. degrees. Yeah. Well, I mean, I, I can see there's a bit of sweat on you. Yeah. You know, you're hot, I'm hot. Yeah, it's not cold enough. Uh, if that was you that's done that, drained the power, if you needed the power, just please let us know by standing in front of the, touching that little ball or coming over and uh, saying something through this box, please. Seems to be working now. I think the red the red light means searching, doesn't it? Yeah, it's just waiting. Orange normally means something's coming through. Minister. 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 I don't know what that would be referring to. What? What a minister. We're here to see the headless horseman. What was that? That was a growl. You hear that? That was a growl. What was that? It's over there, it was a growl. Hello? I'm not being filled though because sometimes it's scratching. Into. What? Into. Knit into. Mm. I definitely heard like a like a rumble or growl or something. Just in case you don't know as well, sometimes it will leave one word silent and it will then say a different word. So oh look at that! The moon is literally beaming down on us. It's at the apex. If that was you that made the noise, if it is you, the headless horseman, dragging a body through here, we would love to see you. Can you make yourself known, please? Yeah. Introduce yourself. Well, my name's Sophia. I mean no harm, but I'd really like to see you. Sometimes uh, a woman's voice like brings things out. Oh, really? Well, yeah, it's like, it's like sometimes men can be sound more aggressive. Oh. So like a fem oh, feminine. Yeah. Come on, if anybody is there and you want to make your presence known, this is the time to do it, because we'll only hang around for so long. It's getting really foggy here. I made you a deal, if you can set... Rage. Rage. If you can set just the ball off or the music box, we'll, we'll move on to a different location, maybe closer to you or further away. We just need one of them to go off, please. Just go over and touch that ball. That's all you need to do. Do you reckon we move deeper in? Yeah? Okay. It's not strong enough. Yeah, keep moving. I can barely fucking see. <laughs> the fog is rolling in. Wow. Yeah. We're not going to find the uh, tents soon. Oh, what's that over there then? Oh, yeah, I know, I think it's a tree, like a big stag or something. Um, Alright, well. <laughs> Fog's rolling in a bit. Let's uh, maybe get away from the grass because that seems to be where the fog's coming from. What is that? I don't know. Is that a pond? What? Is that water there? Uh, that's oh, it's a stream. Know, 
And let's do some here. Right, Flex is setting up some bits of uh, music box. So I've just got the um, the what's it called Polaroid camera out and uh, taking a picture of Sophia. I'm gonna take some more pictures. Uh, these are one of the best ways to capture paranormal photography. Uh, this is a 1980s one, so um, you know proper old school. Company. Hello. Hello. Right, if there is someone here, if you followed us from uh, camp or from where we just were, I would like to kindly ask if you would stand next to Flex and uh, hopefully get your photo, Flex. If you can stand next to Flex, I'll take this photo. There you go, grab that. Yeah, just stick it down there and it'll uh, develop. <laughs> I'll be amazed if anybody uh, was in that shot. Just so you know, there's a cat ball down there, a small ball that if you touch it will light up. There is one there behind Dan. Um, let's a let's get the REM pod out as well. Sack it. Pod. Yeah, yeah, we might as well. And this as well, which you've probably seen. Company. Yeah. Oh, cat ball's going off. Oh. If that's you setting the cat ball off, could you let us know through one of the other devices? Maybe set the other cat ball off. Hi, brand new battery. Dad. Mm. Position. Okay. It's going off again. Are you stood next to that cat ball? That's got a really cold breeze behind me then. Yeah, same. Hoping I have another one of these. Can I move that one? I don't think I do. I'm going to have to take one out of this. Right, it's still starting to go off now. Oh. oh, it's picking something up. Ooh. If you want to touch one of the other devices now, stop touching the cat ball. Stopped and touch one of the other devices eat eat we just eat and oh cat ball's going off again to make this undeniable we just need to make sure one of the other devices go off if one of the one of those go off we 100 percent know it's genuine What was that? Mm. Fucking hell. I felt it snapped under my foot. Alright, it's gone off. Come on, set, set the other cat ball off. There's one there, and there's one there. I'll walk to it if you want, you can walk with us. Come with me. There. Rage. Rage again. Rage again. Maybe it just likes that cat ball. If you are stood next to that cat ball and you know how to set that one off, maybe you only know. Did you see, what was that? Did you see that? Yeah. What was it? I feel weird. No, what was that? I don't know. I was filming anyway. I saw a big shadow go across the top of the tree line. The cat ball's going off again. There's, some, there's, there's something here. And that fog's moving in as well. Doing it what? Again. The brand new batteries, bro. Full battery, look. Mm. It's draining my camera battery already. That's a full battery. I can normally get a good couple of hours out of that. Oh, Wait. no, now it's now it started again. 
Are you are you draining our batteries? Are you trying to affect our equipment? If you are, flatten the battery on my camera. Again, what the hell is going on? I mean, you saw me put them brand new batteries in. If that's you taking all the energy, you're going to need to do more than set off a, a little flashing ball. Touch the touch the red light. Can't believe that's done that. Up. Yep, dead already. Brand new batteries. Left two batteries in the Alice book. Two, ba two batteries in the Alice box, the Rempod battery, and um, my camera battery. Another another light battery as well. There's two dead batteries there. And and you know the weird thing is, look, that um, that cat ball mm. isn't going off continuously, no, so it's not glitching or anything. Let's see if we can get it on like on on cue. Yeah. Go on, touch that ball then. Just give it. Uh, see, see what I mean. <laughs> see what I mean. But why can it? Why can it only do that and not the other things? That's what I don't understand. It's like maybe they become familiar with one mm -hmm. one type of device, and that's something they stick with. It's gone off now. I'd really appreciate if you could do one of the other devices or the other cat ball. There's another ball over there that does the same thing. I've heard the headless horseman gallops up and down these uh, these little paths, dragging a lifeless body behind him. Would you like to come and tell me who that body is? Water hen or something like that. Mm. Or a fox. Well, back at camp. We definitely had a stalker at the tents. Turns out this fox had took a liking and it circled the tents roughly around seven times. Not sure who he was looking for. I highly doubt it was that over cremated bacon. You never know. Owl. Yeah. Not talking to each other now. Come on, set up, push that ball one more time. If you push that ball one more time, we'll move on. No, it's not gone off for ages. Come on, just touch it one more time, we'll leave you alone, we'll go somewhere else. Oh shit! Thank you. Go on, do it again. If you do it one more time, I promise you, we'll leave you alone. And we'll move somewhere else. One more time.
You want to switch there? You're going to have to set it off for longer than that. Did you want us to stay? Or do you want us to leave? If you want us to stay, set off the music box again. If you want us to leave, touch the cat ball, the flashing light ball. I can't remember what that was now. No, it was uh, stay. So you want us to stay? Thank you. I can kind of feel you around over there, what you're doing. Are you one of the people that was found in the pond, in the water? was a bit, uh, that's just falling. Oh, is that what that was? Mm, yeah, it was a bit direct. I'll ask again, was you one of the unfortunate people that have been found in the water here? I know there's been 39 people in total. But if, if you are one of those people, I'd need you to touch one of the devices. There is nothing at all in front. Mainly the, the one with the red light. If you could touch that one with the red light, I will definitely know you are one of those people. I will say this as well, light does not does not set it off, nor does shadows. Lights or shadows does not set it off. I mean get your torch. Watch this. Mm. Look. That is not the torch. Torch will never shadows will never. It's gotta be a solid object because it's ultrasonic. Look. Just come back a bit for like this. See you what, let's, uh, let's just stand over there a little bit. Let's just not stand too close. Because if we're asking... Look, see? See? What did I tell you? What did I tell you? We were too close. If you are one of them kids that was unfortunately killed, thank you, in the 70s, set off the one next to the lights. It's two devices going off at the same time, bro. You can't deny that. Please set off the REM pod. Touch the REM pod. Just touch it, please. That's all we need. Just the red light. Touch that red light, please. If you can touch that red light, we'll do whatever you want. And, and, and the little ball, all three of them. I know I'm asking a lot. Right, it stood right in front of it, bro. It is stood right in front. Do you need help? Is that what you need? Do you need help or do you just want to talk? Are you lonely? I'm getting shivers, like really bad shivers. Are you cold? Are you cold? Yeah, 
Right, stop. All we need is that red light. Just you don't even need to touch it. Just go near it. Someone stood in front of it. And now moved away. How do you feel about that? It's cool, isn't it? Yeah, I think it's weird knowing there's something. Yeah, it is weird, you can't see it. Exactly, something unseen stood in front of that. You touch the cat ball again. Touch, touch one of the lights, please. Just make that little ball light up, or touch that red light. You haven't touched the red light yet. Can you not touch it? Turn it off. Turn it back on. See if it works. Do you like the music? Is that why you're setting it off? Nice, it's drained. Mm. It's well and truly drained that. Hey, since that's gone off, it's moved away from the music box. Oh. Did that scare you? Did that noise scare you then? Oh, hang on. Oh yeah. They've developed now. Anything? Nothing, nothing there, I don't think. I don't think there's anything there. Didn't even know you took that. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's more a way to make a developing problem. Mm. At first, I thought that was a hand. <laughs> no. Just the dreads. Oh, actually, take my camera a sec. Got an idea. Oh! Oh, don't do that. It's killed my battery. Right, uh, before it dies, um, we see if you can see that. Yeah, see the red light flashing? That was a new battery in my camera. <laughs> right, stand in front of that music box and I'll take your photo. That stopped as soon as you took that picture. With this camera we can take your photo, so you can you just stand in front of that music box so it turns on. And stay still. You have to stand in front of it though. Maybe we're getting too close again. Mm -hmm. What if, right, and this is just a little suggestion, we go dark. All lights off, sit silent, yeah. see if it gets worse. Right, my bat that's killed my battery. So the battery on my camera's dead. You can normally get a couple of hours out of that. My big torch is down there if you want it. And I even got a spare battery. Right, you ready to go lights out? Yeah. Right, you're holding the full spectrum, so... We're cutting to your footage now, are you ready? Okay. Go. Ready? Okay. Go. See, now if that was anything of us, that wouldn't go off in, in the dark. No. 
not at all. Can you set one of the cat balls off? What about um, EVP? Yeah, we can do. Where is it? So the EVP recorder works on electronic voice phenomenon. Um, I've had amazing results with these devices. In fact, this is probably one of the most credible devices I've ever used. Um, I've used all kinds of different devices and, and spirit boxes. A lot of people rate them. These are far superior because you know the voices that are coming through and not your own. They are not. They are not ones that you are mishearing. These are genuine voices coming through. Now, I'm not saying they're dead people, but could you be picking up a past memory? Could you be picking picking up some kind of residual memory that was happening here, and it's just like a replay of audio from maybe it could be two weeks ago, it could be 200 years ago. You just don't know. But we're going to try and tap into that right now. Okay, I have a device in my hand that can hear you. If you could come over and please tell me your name. Were you one of the people that was unfortunately found in the water here? Are you, or do you know, the Headless Horseman? Let's listen to that back. That's really overexposed, that by the way. Just turn it down then. Just come off that. Yeah, that's better. Yeah, that's better. Try it one more time, but we'll each um, ask a question. Yeah. All right, you ready? Do you want me to turn the music box back on? Did you pass away in this forest? Are you one of the children killed in the 70s? When she asked the, when she asked about the um, question, it sounded like there's like kids in the background. Oh, yeah. Yeah.
Union. This one's hot. You hear that? Very faint. Very faint. I'm acting trying to enhance that, but there was definitely something there. It's, and there was no noises here, was there? No. And it sounded like way off in the distance, like yeah, kids. Like yeah. Almost, yeah, it sounded like way off in the distance somewhere. Maybe maybe we're picking up on something that's way, way out somewhere else in the forest, or again, maybe it's just a res residual energy uh, and audio that we're picking up that could have happened, like I said, two weeks or two years ago. Um, there's not, I don't know what the foundations are made of, uh, most of the time you get major residual energy when the stone in the area holds high quartz crystal content because quartz crystal holds more memory than any hard drive known on the planet. Curious to see what condition the camp's in when we go back. Yeah, it's not. <laughs> If it's completely gone, like it's never there. <laughs> or if my camera's gone. <laughs> I'm all about to get. Got a nice clear shot of the harvest moon here. Really nice. Oh, what? Huh? Put his head down there, isn't What, at the top? Yeah, that's orange. Are you sure? Yes. What? Right up there. Straight ahead. Yeah. Like the top of that tree line. Yeah. That's it. Where? It's gone now. Oh, it's orange, you can see. No. It can't be. I see a red light. Yeah. That's, I think that's a reflection of my car. Oh, there could be that, please. Oh. Very foggy now. See that light hanging up over there? Oh, I think it's the car. Oh. <laughs> I'm hoping it's the fire. My bad. You broke it. The fire gone out. Right, so the last um, experiments we're going to run is by the tents. Um, there is some car noise in the background and birds because it is starting to go daylight. Um, but we're going to finish off with the trip wire and a few other devices. So I'm going to stick this up somewhere. Probably in the complete darkness. Probably over here. We've heard a lot of noises over here. Right, so we put the REM pod, music box. REM pod's going off. Already? Yeah, REM oh. pod's going off. That's been that. What a response that was. REM pod is going off. Uh, EMF strip wire directly in between the music box, which is the REM pod trip wires. Followed us back to the camp. If you want to go and uh, set off one of the devices that are set up over there to show us that you have followed us, that'd be brilliant.
you just had that REM pod going off, the one with the little red light, you made it go green. Do you want to go and touch that again? The guffing gears, with that trip wire being in between. Mm -hmm. If the REM pod goes off and then stops, and then the trip wire changes colour, and then this, the music box goes off, that means something's passed over the trip wire yeah. to turn on the So unfortunately not a great deal happened at base camp. We had the devices set up and we were sat around for around about an hour. But yeah, nothing happened. Is this place really as haunted as people say it is? Or maybe we just had a bad night. Maybe we just scared them off. Maybe someone else was camping in the forest nearby and they were terrorizing them. That being said, I feel like this is not the last time we're going to see Epim Forest on this channel. Maybe I'm going to have to go back sooner than later. Maybe spend two days there, do a full investigation. I don't know, but this place does give me the creeps. With the rolling fog comes in from nowhere, the odd sounds during the night, and the idea that there's nowhere really left to run. The roads around are quite dark, there's no street lighting. So yeah, let me know down below, should we go back and do a more in-depth stay? Uh, 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 no, we'll just chuck them in the back for now, fuck it. Get in there. Oh. Another pack that tent. Well done. I did. You did a good job. I know, it was all split. It was all split, the bag's all split. Oh, yeah, I, I got know. away, you know. I, I was just, you know, complimenting you on your tent packing. I <laughs> <laughs> Hey, who wants to walk home? Who, 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 do you want to walk home as a mate? No, I was being genuinely honest, that was better than mine. Right, anyway, we've, we've, uh, we survived the night. It's daylight, we're getting out of here quickly. We best get out of here quickly in case they come. How far are we away from the um, hotel? 15 minutes. Happy Halloween!